let's take a couple breaths here today. Root our feet down in Wu Chi position, and I'm so happy you're here for our class today. Molly, you let me know if it's bright enough in here. It feels good like this, actually, but I want to make sure it's good for the people at home on screen. So drawing the shoulders back, feel your heart center open and your fingers just flare a little bit, and then relax your fingers to curl. Root the feet down, the tripod of the big toe, ball mount, the pinky toe, and the heel. I want you to almost tuck your pelvis here, so it's almost like you're trying to bring the top of your hips to the bottom, so it's going to be a little bit of a tuck. That's going to most likely put you in your neutral spine. I want you to think about that today and feel how that activates your back body. Relax the jaw. Soft gaze or eyes close. And put a little softness in the knee. Remember, we want some resiliency in our practice today as well as in life. Going with the flow. Take a deep breath. In through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Take that again. Feel that life force energy in and take it all the way down to your lower dantian. And today I want us to kind of focus on the thought of our three centering spots in our body, which we've talked to the lo about the lower dantian. That's where we want our breath to go, so keep that flowing. There's also a heart center and third eye center. So think about lining these all, all up. So right now I can feel my forehead forward, so I'm going to tuck my chin a little bit and pull back a wee bit so these can all line up and down. Hmm. Keep your shoulders rolled open, but gently pivot your palms to the back of the room. And I just want us to flow slowly this morning and grounding in this moment. The inhale up, the exhale down. So no striving today, never any judgment. Just a softness with your breath. Slide the elbows right next to the body. A soft hinge. And even when we come up to that heart center, still a little softness in the elbows. Notice the hips still in neutral. Breathing in. Breathing out. Feels so right. Such a great practice when the world keeps begging us to go fast, right? So find your softness. Changing, bringing hands to heart center, just a small open close. Soft gaze. A little softness in the knees as you bring the palms toward each other. And let's slow it down even a little bit more. Inhale. Be so interested in you in this moment. This physical, beautiful body. Mm. Flowing with the breath. Love being here with you. This is such a sacred gift, really is. Let's step our right leg out into horse stance and take your right arm across the face and down. So just start with the arms and a little bit of cloud hands. So just I want you to let the bottom arm actually follow the right arm today. 
So when that right arm goes right, left arm is right behind it to the lower Dantian low. Circling. Yeah. Such a gentle flow from fingers, elbows, beautiful shoulders. Start to add a little more turn into the waist, looking left, looking right. Feel your shoulders melt down here. Let's slow this down a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Become very aware of that lower arm being with the upper arm. Beautiful. Notice the soles of your feet as you do this, where the weight goes. Still a slight filling and emptying. Feel the knees track where the toes are. Bring yourself back to the center into Wu Chi stance. Feet soft underneath you. Take a breath. Inhale, wings up. Exhale down. Soften the knees. So in yoga, we tend to do a joint freeing series. And I want you to just be aware that we're kind of doing this here, right? You feel the elbows, the shoulders, the wrists, even the fingers and thumbs. Take a deep breath. Inhale up. Expanding. Exhale down. As the arms come up next time, step to the palm out of the right foot. So feel the toes spread. Inhale up. Left heel up. Exhale down. Become aware of your scapula, those angel wings back behind you, contracting and moving, kind of turning out and opening and spreading as you spread the wings. Yeah. Soft focus. So you can stay here or start to lift and hover each foot off the ground. Take a breath. Inhale. Maybe it's your tippy toes. Maybe it's barely off the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Imagine some cups of water along the waistline. You don't want to spill those. You want those even. Still think about the hips tucked. Lots going on. Be gentle with both sides of the body. Feel the breath fill. Low in the abdominals. If you want to increase the range of motion on these last few, you can lift the knee up a little higher. But tuck the chin and find that dristy. And if it feels good low, honor that. Really be with the landing, softly down, softly up, and back to that pillow landing. Beautiful. Gently root your feet down, tuck the chin. And bring your hands up to the side of the head, maybe to the temples or the ears, and just press your elbows toward the earth, and it's going to start to turn toward your body as you start to fold over forward. So your hands are starting to direct your chin to the heart center, and let yourself melt over. Release the hands down. Let yourself hang here over the waterfall edge. 
Mm, maybe gentle hold on the opposite elbow. A little bit of movement in the swirling of the waters down below. Keep your breath soft and long. Release arms down, bend the knees, and roll yourself back up if it's right for your spine. If that doesn't feel good, you can come up in a neutral spine as well. Roll, 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 take a breath. Open up the arms, inhale. Exhale, stay here. Just gather the stars from the side, inhale. Exhale, reach from one side of the room to the other, like ta-da. Little bend of the elbows, bend of the knees, and reach. Hmm. So this feeling of buoyancy, of giving, receiving. Let's take that breath all the way up. And one more time, take the hands to the side of the head and tuck the chin down, let the elbows point to the earth. So pause here before you start that waterfall. Let the chin really go to the chest and let the hands guide the back of the head. A little pressure to the side of the head as well. Bend the knees and in slow motion, one more time, down, down, down. Deep breaths, feel where the breath is going. Release the hands when you're ready. And breathe to that lower back, right all the way through to that lower dantian. And grab the elbows again or flow the hands to the earth or hands to your shins. Three deep breaths. Tuck that chin just a little bit more. Root the feet down, bend the knees. Finish that last breath. Mm, release the arms and slowly bring yourself up. This time bring your thumbs to your shoulders and open up the heart and breathe. Sink down, front to back. Now again, I want you to think about bringing the top of the hips to the lower hips. So find that neutral spine here. No load in the lower back, yeah. Hmm. One more time. And let's bring it down and gather the chi. Take a breath, inhale up, soft down the body. Take a breath. So see how high you want to go, and now see how low. Ankle flexion, knee flexion. What a softness, not quite to the end. Breathing. So I'm going to move into our form of intention. So again, this will kind of mimic a little bit what Al Wong brought in, but I love that there are 10 intentions. And we're going to come into fire today, but we're going to first to review what we've created. Take a breath again. And bring your arms up here, and let's just give it a little shake. It's so nice to shake in the sunshine here. So right now, don't think of the hands. Let the elbows start moving. Let the shoulders start moving. And Laura, soften your knees. Let it come from the legs. So if you talked, you could sound like me. Yeah, that's it. Good. How's that feel? Check in with yourself. And if it's too much with the arms up high, bring them lower. I want to say giddy up. <laughs> Press, softening. Shake, 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 shake. Take a breath. Inhale up. Exhale, pull back down. <sighs> Inhale up. Exhale. <sighs> so your head can stay above the heart, or it can start to <sighs> fold down. <sighs> you decide what's right. Take a breath. Find that energy. <sighs> <sighs> so good if you find yourself sitting at your desk <sighs> too long. <sighs> Deep breath in the nose. <sighs> Let it go out of the mouth. 
Two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Give it a gentle sway. Rotate around. Mm, let the arms just gently love up the body. Soft, happy slap. <sighs> Looking back. Looking around. Beautiful. So maybe you find one heel lifting and the other heel lifting. You can take your legs a little wider. What kind of energy you want to flow into your body? So we're opening up the channels with these moves. Your energy flowing. <sighs> Ready for the next moment to moment awareness. <sighs> nice. Start to slow it down. Bring yourself back to Wu Chi stance. Feet underneath the hips. Adjust, tidy up, cool down. <laughs> Root the feet down, a softness in the knees. <sighs> let the shoulders really drop. That's my favorite thing to have up. So really let them, <sighs> so those fingers can actually release yourself down. Nice. Mm, so let's take a breath. Take the hands up to the heart center and bring them down. So we're going to come into our heart opener here. As you come up, the fingers are facing each other and the thumbs are facing each other as well. So it's almost like you're holding, what are you holding? A hoagie, but it's upside, it's su upside down <laughs> or sideways. <laughs> so take a breath, inhale up. And feel just what that movement does to the heart center to expand. Inhale up, elbows open, exhale down. Take that again. Inhale up and open to the side. Bring the arms down. Exhale. Up the front of the body. Inhale. It's the intention of coming out of the box, of opening up our heart. For ourselves and those around us. So starting with the yin yag leg, the left leg, that one will step back as the arms go out the side. Take a deep breath. Inhale, load the right leg, left leg back and open. Soft flow down to the lower body. Come back in. Inhale up. Exhale, open. So notice the softness in your knees. So again, lots going on, but it's a flow. No wrong movements. No judgment, being where you are. So let's do that again. Think about arms up. They open. Ta-da, here I am. They float down to the lower Dantian and come up to the heart center. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Everything comes back to the middle. Foot in. Right leg steps back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So alternate the legs. We keep the doors open here now. No one's reading my sign of quiet, mindful class in session. <laughs> I'm trying though, right? But that's the work, right? To stay quiet, stay the focus, even when something's begging for your attention. Check your shoulders, are they down? few more in silent, soft knees. Take a breath, pause. Bring your hands to that lower Dantian. Invite your right arm to come up. Come back to center, hand to hand. Left arm up, right arm down. 
coming into heaven and earth. So the beauty is that we're in between these two energies, earth grounding, heaven above. So finding yourself maybe a little flighty, going too much to heaven, that's why we ground to earth so we find that balance. If you find yourself too down and heavy, then we reach to heaven. So take a breath, inhale up. Notice your elbow staying soft on either side, either reaches a yawn of softness. So we're gonna use our same legs that we did. And you're already so aware. Left leg in, take a breath. Left arm up, left leg back, inhale. Exhale, center. Other side, the yang, that higher energy, inhale. Exhale, take a breath. put these moves together. So one more time, heaven and earth, take a breath, inhale, find a softness, knees down, knees bent, the give, the receive, the high, the low, the grounding, the air. Heart center out of the box, take your hands up to the sky, up to your heart center, left leg back and open, slide them down, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, right leg open, back and down, open from the shoulders, down, heaven and earth, take a breath, left leg back, left leg in, inhale, opening the heart, take a breath, heart opener, left leg back, reach and open, release down. So find that continuous flow of your Tai Chi. Heaven and Earth. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, melt down. Gather up right from the lower Dantian. Right leg back, yeah, trusting. Nice, heaven and earth reaching. But not reaching, just being between the energies. Nice, pause, take a breath. Hmm. Tuck the chin just a little bit. So again, realign those energy centers. Lower Dantian, heart center, third eye. So maybe the touch. Dantian, heart center. Do you feel the shoulders over the hips? Do you feel your third eye over the heart center? One more time, breathing, lower. Middle energy center your compassionate heart and this intuition of the third eye. Nice. Pause, take a breath. So into fire. So if you were tuning in, Molly, who was assisting me with um, uh, the tech, making sure you were getting a lovely experience at home, I had her put her hand on the small of my back, and that's what I want you to imagine that happening. That's where this fire comes from the lower back. So we're gonna kind of reach into the flame. So put your hand back there, yeah, and just feel what that pressure feels like. And I think that's one of my favorite things when someone pushes their hand just lightly on my back, you feel supported, right? And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start to bring our energy out and forward. So this one starts low by the lower Dantian. So the arms are just kind of like if we were gonna do our bear, we were down here. Now we're just doing palm to palm. Draw the shoulders back. And this one, we're just gonna reach out 
and lift up. Nice. Bring it back down. So this is your fire. Elbows. Reach up. And you can almost feel those flames rising, right? That's what you want to feel. Your energy from the lower Dantian, again, that pressure, lower back, pressing and giving to fire, your energy. So if you know what sign you're born under, we had that interesting discussion last week in our meeting. I've got a lot of fire, but maybe you knew that. <laughs> and there isn't any fire out there right now, so I'm feeling a little... That's just interesting. <laughs> I'm looking for my fire. Mm, but that grounding, got a lot of air. Press and reach. So let's start with our yin leg again. So just a little bit of fire up. We're going to step forward and reach. And we're going to bring it back down. So we'll end up right leg forward and reach. So slide forward and lift it up. You can empty out that back leg a little bit. Even come off onto the heel and breathe. So think of fire like, ta-da, this is me. This is my energy out into the world. And next week we'll combine this with water. Take a breath. Inhale. Mm, exhale. Feels good, right? So that's that physical connect of the body where everything starts where everything ends. So I want your flame to get even a little bigger. So slide the hands forward right at the lower dantian and breathe in like ta-da into a V and pull it back. Other side, reach. Maybe even give it a little sparkle, a little shimmer with the palms. Mm. Nice. Take a breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Are you still finding a softness in the knees, the giving and the receiving? And even on fire, our elbows stay a little bit bent. We've gone to that really of giving away too much. We're bringing it back to ours. Lower Dantian, one more time. Putting it together, heart opener. Root down, slide the hands up the front of the body, deep breath. Step back left. Slide the wings down. All the way up, perfect. Inhale, right leg back. Supporting heaven and earth. <laughs> Step back left and reach and extend up. Soften the fingers, press down. Coming into fire, slide the elbows down by the side, reach left leg forward and up, and slide the elbows back in, foot back in, soft knees. Heart opener, take a breath out of the box. Open your heart to yourself. Hmm. Slide it down. A little more energy open. Heaven and earth, left leg back. One behind up, one hand down. Into our fire together, let's bring it forward. Slide it out in the world, breathe and reach and extend. Slide it back. So that light, that fire, breathe. One more time through, heart opener. I'm gonna go slow, just move.
time, I want you to really embody the feeling of your body. Breath. Beautiful. Close eyes or soft gaze. Maybe hand on the lower dantian and that second center of your heart and breathe. Mm, so grounding. So we're releasing arms down, coming into the dance of the five elements for the closing of our session today. So I really want you to just be able to flow. So I'm going to take it very slow. And most of you have experienced this before. And if you haven't, it's OK. We're just going to go into the elements of fire, to water, to wood, to metal, and back to earth. <coughs> so I'm not going to build it quickly. I'm going to flow through it with you. Anybody getting warm? <laughs> All right, so find your Wu Chi stance. Give it a little shake, a little roll out, softening the knees. So intention to ground down, tuck chin, open heart, stepping to the right corner into fire, into water, back to the center of the body into wood, arms off to the left side. Let the right arm keep circling all the way to metal. Beautiful trust. Thumb and index finger come together. Step right, left heel kisses. Take a breath, inhale up, exhale down. Let it travel to the front of the body, into the fire. Take a breath, into water. Over to the right wood. Invite that left arm to keep circling into metal. That's it. Step left. Thumb and index finger together. Right heel kisses up the heart center. Bend the knees. Exhale down. Flowing to fire. Inhale. Back of hands to sky. Float down to water. Inhale to wood. So that leg can stay empty. That right leg circle to metal. Make that diamond with the thumbs and index fingers, heels kiss, and exhale down to the left. Inhale, fire, water. Come back to metal, so this is your hula dancer, and then into metal, step left. Float the right leg in, your diamond to the earth more times. So let yourself sneak in here. You're down. Glide in. Elbows slide by the body back all the way to wood.
bring in that soft gaze and say these words in your mind eye, the different elements. see if your mind has drifted away these last two the feeling the sensation of your body connected with the breath with the intention of being totally in this moment Gently turn your heels back behind the toes. Take a breath. Gather your chi. I want you to think about bringing one of these moves or maybe a few of the moves outside. Maybe it's organically today, but turn yourself toward the sun. Mm, might be to the east this morning. It might be to the west this evening, but let the sun kiss your body as you flow slowly with intention. Again, in a world that wants to move so fast and grab our attention, invite yourself to slow, mm, bringing that grace into the moment. Mm, let's give it a couple stretches in closing. Take yourself into your tall position and take your left leg back behind you if it's right for you and draw yourself tall again so now you're kissing the thighs together reaching extend the arms out your crane wings take the left wing up right down move slowly your gaze can stay forward that'll be a little easier but if you start to change your gaze it's going to affect your balance and i want you to tip your left hip out to the side right hip in Soften the fingers, breathe. Gently bring your right wing back up to the top. Inhale, exhale, flow it down. Feel that rootedness. Slide the right leg back behind you. Kiss the ankles, knees, hips together. Draw the shoulders back. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, right arm over, left arm down. So this should feel good. We're just opening up some muscles. A lot of forward movement today. Breathe, relax the left shoulder down. Gaze can stay forward or taking it down. Breathe. Open it up. Nice. Let's give it a little tapping. Take a breath, inhale up. Just starting at the top of the head, so actually touching the head, giving it some little raindrop taps. 
Mm, deep breaths. Take it down by the side of the face, underneath the eyebrows. Little tapping. Underneath the eyes, right on the cheekbones. Mm, little tapping. Throat chakra, right to the throat. Find your heart center, your clavicle, those bones, and come right below it. And you can stay with fingers here. You can tap lightly with a soft fist. But give it a little tap. It feels good, right? Deeper breath. Deeper breath for you, for me today. Let's tap it down the arm. So fist or hand, depending on how you're feeling, above, below. Get that limp underneath the armpit and back. Cross heart center, other arm. Deep breaths. Stay with the body sensations. Mm, come to the pelvis here. I like it every other for some reason. And let's come right to the side of the hips, right where those indents are, right? You can hit it. Feels good. Get that going, right? Bring it all the way down the side. Soften the knees, and you decide how far, it, how good it feels to go low. If it feels good to go to the side of the feet, do that. The tips of the toes, the inside of the ankles, up the inside of the thighs to the groin again. One more time down. <sighs> mm, let it feel good. One time down the front of the legs. Soften the knees, kiss the knees. Tap it out, tap it back up. Mm. Draw the shoulders back around and down. Mm. Barrigate would call that cultivating the chi, bringing it all in. Love that. Barrigate teaches at noon on. Wednesday is so lovely. So set your reminders in your calendar. Give your week some intention of what practices really speak to you and let them keep happening. It's going to bring us into a beautiful spring together. Take your right hand in a soft fist, left hand over it, and bow to everybody that's come into this practice to make it happen in the power of group. You know that's my favorite. That's why I'm here. And come back to the center, soft fist left. Right hand over and bow to yourself in gratitude, in grace for this time of centering. Have an awesome day. It looks great out there. Thanks for tuning in.